Hey, welcome to my vlog about the seaman life. In today's episode I will tell you about the ship electrician. What is his life, what are his duties and everything you need to know about this rank on board a vessel. So let's go! As a ship electrician you will have responsibilities all over the ship. You have to know electrical, electronics and a little bit of mechanics. You still have to change bearings and stuff like that and you have to assist the mechanical engineer sometimes. So you have to have knowledge about everything. An electrician that works at the commercial fleet and by that I mean uh, Roro packs, um, pal carriers, tankers. Those type of ships have only one electrician. Before it was a chief electrician, assistant electrician, so it was easier. This system still in place on passenger ships, but on the commercial fleet, like I said, there is only one electrician. So you can imagine there is a lot of work for only one guy. Sometimes, if you are lucky enough, you will get a cadet electrician, but as you may understand, he is coming there to learn, so he does not know anything. He will just assist you a little bit with uh, giving you <laughs> some tools, but uh, you have to teach him. So there is a lot of work as an electrician being alone on such a large vessel. Everything on board that has electrical power running through it is the responsible of the electrician. So he has to be in charge of any, anything that goes wrong, troubleshooting from the deck all the way to the bridge. Of course the engine room. So you have to keep in mind as an electrician you have to know electronics a little bit at the beginning because you will have to troubleshoot the navigational system. Or if you are working on tankers like I'm working now, uh, you have to be in charge of the sensors for the temperature, for the depth of the cargo tanks. And uh, on the tankers, the cargo is dangerous. For example, like we are carrying now, it's kerosene. We are not even allowed with a cell phone on deck because it can create electrical sparks to static energy and you can have an explosion. So you have to be very, very careful as an electrician. Unlike any other job, when you work as a ship electrician, you are on board 24 seven. That means you are sleeping at your workplace. And that means they can call you anytime. Our uh, schedule as an electrician is until 1800, but if there is any problems, they will call you even at five o'clock in the morning and you are not allowed to refuse because that is part of your contract to be uh, responsible for everything that is electrical on board so keep that in mind as an electrician you have to have some knowledge about compressors as well because as a ship electrician you are responsible for the air compressor of the accommodation of the galley of the workshop where the engine crew is working and uh, sometimes you have to change the freon check for leaks so you must have uh, knowledge at least a little bit uh, the second engineer should assist you with this but you have to have knowledge about this as well when we talk about the engine room the electrician is responsible besides the motors and the pumps also uh, for the mgps system and the iccp systems these systems are designed to keep the ship uh, clean of uh, marine animals and uh, algae which can deteriorate the hull and the paint of the hull and also can the, make the ship go slower that means using more fuel so of course you have to take care of the system so the company is not spending too much money for the fuel 
another of electrician duties is checking the insulation of the motors and the pumps in the engine room and also you have to know how to operate the boiler and the oily water separator and the fuel separators you have engineers who are uh, trained to use this but you should have knowledge about this as well as you can imagine all the batteries on board are the responsibilities of the ship electrician so you have to check as a ship electrician all the emergency battery for communication for the starting of the emergency generator uh, and any other battery that you have on board and also you have to know how to fix troubleshoot all the boilers that you have on board the main boiler which is used to heat up the cargo and the fuel and also you have some uh, water boilers that are in the galley for the sh ship which chief cook uses sometimes of course as an electrician you are in charge of all the illumination on board the vessel all the bulbs all the tube lights if they are, they are either inside the accommodation or outside the accommodation also you have to check every week the fire alarm if it's either co2 or the general fire alarm and if you are working on a tanker you will have uh, ig systems which you have to take care of if there are no emergencies and uh, any special job given by the chief engineer or the second engineer or all your job orders will be from the pms system which every ship has it's just a different name from the software but all the ships have a pms system everything that is in the galley of the ship is the responsibility of the electrician so you must have knowledge how to troubleshoot and repair a refrigerator hot plates the aircon that is inside there the uh, hot water boiler uh, the dishwashing machine the coffee machine and things like that anything that you would have also at home in your kitchen so maybe you can try a little bit of training at home <laughs> The ships that are built after 2010, 2011, most of them have electronic main engine, RTFlex, and uh, you must have knowledge. That is a special training that you need to have. Sometimes the company is paying for it, sometimes you will have from, to pay from your own pocket. But this is uh, advanced knowledge. But you will have to uh, have this if you are serious about keeping this job for many years I have been a ship electrician for over 15 years and I have some tips for you if you are either planning to come on board as a ship electrician or you are in school now and you are training for this I hope my advice will help you during your training and for your first time on board of course I wait for you in the comment section down below if you have additional questions so let's get started with my five tips as an electrician starting the list with the most important one number one the electric diagrams you must learn to read electric diagrams everything on board a ship has electric diagram even the toaster or the microwave so keep that in mind I cannot stress enough how important this is so before you come on board make sure you know how to read an electric diagram you understand all the symbols nowadays you have YouTube you have the internet at your disposal you can read everything you need to know before you come on board when I came on board 15 years ago there was no such information there was no YouTube so I had to go to the library I had to ask my teacher in the Mar Maritime University and you know how uh, professors and teachers are they don't want to answer your questions outside the hours outside the training so you have to do the training by yourself make sure you understand all the electrical equipment before you come on board otherwise they will send you home in the first port so this is very very important for you number two on my list you have to learn how to use the multimeter they must teach you this in the university in the maritime university but uh, i have been at the maritime university and i know that uh, the training is not uh, 
so well all the time depending on the professor that you will have but anyway you will have to spend time searching on the internet on youtube or in the library just make sure that you know how to use every function on the multimeter before you come on board just a little bit and then when you come as a cadet you have to ask the electrical officer who will be in charge of your training on board for five or six months you have to ask him whenever he has some free time to explain to you exactly every function on the multimeter most people at home they know how to measure only the voltage at the uh, power outlet but if you ask them how to uh, measure the insulation the electrical insulation or the temperature they have no idea how to do that so as an electrical engineer as an electrical officer which you will be one day when you get promoted you have to know exactly how to use a multimeter it doesn't matter what brand it is if it's either victor or fluke they are all the same just a little bit better if it's more on the high end and it's more expensive but most of the time they are all the same so if you learn how to use one of them you will know how to use all of them just make sure you know exactly how to use a multimeter because your job will depend on this and of course you want to keep it for as many years as possible right you're not going at sea for only six months number three on my list sensors there are different types of sensors on board the vessel you have temperature sensor you have pressure sensor you have limit switches you have a lot of sensors and it is very important to know how each sensor works and what is the difference between them because uh, depending on the company that you will work for you will not always have spare sensors on board the vessel and uh, if it's something critical like uh, an emergency generator or one of the main generators and one of the pressure switches for the fuel or for the cooling water is not working and you do not have a spare sensor on board there is no other choice but to repair that so it is very important that you understand first of all how it works and then you will proceed to repair it keep in mind that most of the time you will be alone people on board have no knowledge about electrical machinery and they do not know about sensors and you will be alone you have to do the job by yourself you will not have any assistance so it is critical to know exactly what you are doing when we are talking about sensors and the difference between them so bring some manuals with you bring some books whatever you think that can help you with this job number four on my list power distribution you have to understand exactly how the power distribution is on board a vessel just for your knowledge the third engineer and of course the second engineer and the chief engineer are responsible for the main generators and the emergency generator but any electrical problem like we are talking for example for the acb the air circuit breaker this is your responsibility as an electrician and also the AVR and also the RPM meter a lot of electrical equipment inside the main generator so it is not far-fetched to say that most of the work on the generator is on the electrician side and if something happens God forbid if you are in the middle of the ocean and you make a blackout and you do not know how to fix this it will be a very big issue for you as a human being and for the whole crew you have to have knowledge about the power distribution on board you have to have knowledge what to do in case of a blackout how to start the emergency generator there will be a short training on board when you come for the first time if you are a cadet you will uh, uh, be taught by the electrical officer if you come as a ship electrician then the previous electrician will have to show you the procedure but keep in mind that this is a very important thing to know about the power distribution on board the vessel that you will work for if you enjoy my tips and advices that I'm giving you here don't forget to hit that like button maybe you want to subscribe to the channel 
for more of the semen life <laughs> and now for the last tip that I have for you if you come on board and you want to work as a ship electrician common sense you have to have common sense you have to have respect for your job and for your colleagues for your job keep in mind that as an electrician you work with something that you cannot see you cannot see the electrical power so you always assume that there is electrical power on the machinery that you will work on so before you start any job make sure you switch off the power and you take out the fuses you switch off the main breaker and you double triple check with a multimeter or another device that there is no electrical power on the machinery that you will work on because on board the ship you don't have only 220 or 110 you also have 440 volts AC equipment and if you touch with your hand one phase of 440 you will die and nobody can help you on board we do not have doctors on board people on board only have first aid training that is not much especially if you are electrocuted so take care of yourself and also have common sense for the people that you are working with you must have respect for everybody even if if they are lower rank than you you have to have respect for the messman you have to have respect for the motorman everybody is important on board the ship even if they are lower rank than you your arrogance and disrespect will not be tolerated on board especially when you are captive in the middle of the ocean with 20 people that you don't know you don't know what is in their head so be respectful and that is what I have to say about the electrical job and my tips to you if you are coming on board anytime soon as an electrical cadet as a ship electrician or any rank this apply especially the common sense this apply to any rank if you made it so far in the video thank you very much for your patience thank you very much for your attention and i hope to see you next time on my channel for my next video have a wonderful day goodbye